If you like Kiera Knightley, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. Don't say that. Kiera Christina Knightley, born on March 26, 1985, is an English actress who began acting on television and made her breakthrough with the 2002 film Bend It Like Beckham. She received an Empire Award and has been nominated for two British Academy, three Golden Globe, and two Academy Awards. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. The Duchess 2008. I have accepted whatever arrangement you have proposed. I have raised Charlotte as my own daughter. The English aristocrat Georgiana, played by Keira Knightley, is married to the influential Duke of Devonshire, played by Ralph Fiennes. But as soon as she notices that her husband has no affection for her, Georgiana sets out in search of her own happiness on the path of true love. Released in 2008 and directed by Saul Dibb, The Duchess is based on Amanda Foreman's biography of Georgiana Cavendish. Duchess of Devonshire, and received the Academy Award for Best Costume Design in 2009. What kind of man are you? She is my sole comfort in our marriage. You have robbed me of my only friend. Number 9. The Jacket, 2005. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. You have a, a nasty cut there. Yeah, yeah. Slipped, but I'm alive. The psychological thriller follows the life of Jack Starks, an Iraq war veteran who was wrongly accused of a crime and sent to a hospital for the criminally insane. When a doctor starts performing horrific experiments on him, Jack discovers his extraordinary ability to travel through time. Although the film did not perform well at the box office, it is worth watching for its compelling story and amazing direction. Directed by John Maybury and released in 2005, the film stars Adrian Brody and Keira Knightley in lead roles. You wouldn't happen to know how he died now, would you? No, uh -huh. Just remember them finding his body. Is that all you remember, David? Number 8. Never Let Me Go, 2010. So, exactly how much experience have you guys had with the outside? Quite a lot. We haven't. Set in a dystopian future, the film follows the lives of three friends, Kathy, Tommy, and Ruth, from their childhood to adulthood, as they discover the dark and disturbing reality of their world. Directed by Mark Romanek and released in 2010, Never Let Me Go stars Kira Knightley, Carey Mulligan, and Andrew Garfield in lead roles. The heart-wrenching romantic tragedy, with its soulful soundtrack and unique storyline, is based on the award-winning novel by the author, Kazuyo Ishiguro. We did a lot of role-playing exercises at Halsham. They don't count. Okay, well, don't feel scared, okay? There's really, there's nothing to it. Number 7. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, 2006. You look beautiful. I think it's bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. The second installment in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise follows the adventures of Captain Jack Sparrow as he tries to find the heart of Davy Jones in the depths of the ocean to save his soul from enslavement. Released in 2006 and directed by Gore Verbinski, the fantasy action film turned out to be a huge commercial success. Largely thanks to Johnny Depp and his outstanding portrayal of Captain Jack Sparrow, alongside Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley in lead roles. I think it's bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. Wait, let me through. What is How dare you? Stand your men down at once. Do you hear me? Governor Weatherby Swan, it's been too long. Cut your back. Number 6. Love Actually, 2003. It's carol singers. Give him a quid and Set one month before the eve of Christmas, Love Actually follows the lives of eight different couples and their unique takes on love and romance. The movie portrays the emotions of love, jealousy, hatred, and romance beautifully. It stars Hugh Grant, Liam Neeson, and Keira Knightley in lead roles. Released in 2003, the movie is directed by Richard Curtis, 
who manages to capture the difficulties and hardships of various relationships elegantly and pack it all into a perfect Christmas atmosphere. Christmas is a time for people with someone they love in their lives. And that's not you? That's not me, Michael. When I was young and successful, I was greedy and foolish, and now I'm left with no one, wrinkled and alone. Number five. Begin Again, 2013. Oh no, I'm sorry, you're right. I put a lot of time and effort into that relationship, and no, I'm not just walking away because of a bump in the road. Get ready to witness the beginning after the end with just a single song with this 2013 musical comedy drama. Written and directed by the talented John Carney, the film stars Keira Knightley, Mark Ruffalo, and Adam Levine in the lead roles. The plot revolves around the changing relationship between Dan, a disgraced record label executive, and Greta, a broken-hearted, new-to-the-city singer-slash-songwriter. Begin Again takes us on a tour as an incidental meeting turns into a huge collaboration between two musical geniuses. I don't mean to be offensive, but don't you think that looks a little passe? Really? Seriously. We get you a look and a killer video and you go straight to the top. Number 4. Atonement, 2007. Leon waited outside the hospital last week and I just pushed past him. See, you don't owe me anything. Directed by Joe Wright with Kira Knightley, James McAvoy and Ronan. The 2007 film is based on Ian McEwan's 2001 novel of the same name. The film tells the story of Brienne Tallis, a 13-year-old girl and future writer, and the consequences of her actions after she misinterprets several events and changes the lives of two lovers, her older sister Cecilia and Robbie Turner, the son of a family servant. The movie has a wonderful score and won an Oscar for Best Achievement in Music. If all we have rests on a few moments in a library three and a half years ago, then I'm not sure. Robbie, look I don't know if... Look at me. Number 3. Pride and Prejudice 2005. Are you laughing at me? No. Are you rejecting me? I'm sure that the feelings which, as you've told me, have hindered your regard will help you in overcoming it. Pride and Prejudice is a 2005 period romance film directed by Joe Wright and based on Jane Austen's 1813 novel of the same name, starring Keira Knightley and Matthew McFadden. This tale of love and values unfolds in the class-conscious England of the late 18th century. The five Bennett sisters, including strong-willed Elizabeth, have been raised by their mother with one purpose in life, finding a husband. As the wealthy bachelor Mr. Bingley and his friend Mr. Darcy arrive in the neighborhood, the lives of the five daughters are turned upside down. And those are the words of a gentleman. From the first moment I met you, your arrogance and conceit, your selfish disdain for the feelings of others made me realize that you were the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. Number 2. The Imitation Game 2014. Oh, good God. Oh, I don't think even he has the power that we do right now. No. There's going to be an attack on a British passenger convoy. Based on a true war story, The Imitation Game is a thriller drama that binds the audience in the suspense of its twists and turns. Directed by Morton Tildum, the movie follows the journey of the great British mathematician Alec Turing as he tries to break the unbreakable German Enigma code with the help of a team of dedicated mathematicians. Thick with the war tension in the air, the movie has us holding our breath, anticipating the moment, with stellar performances from Benedict Cumberbatch, Kira Knightley, and Matthew Good. The Germans will know that we have broken Enigma. They'll stop all radio communications by midday and they'll have changed the design of Enigma by the weekend. Yes. Two years' work. Everything that we've done here will all be for nothing. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. All I've managed to do is put my husband's future at risk. And your own. In fact, by leaking information to try and stop a war, I'd argue that you chose loyalty to your country over loyalty to your government, your marriage, and yourself. Hi. Hi. That was brilliant. Do you play for any side? Yeah, like you. Southall United. Sorry, squad. <laughs> play for Hanslow Harry as girls' side. Oh, it's close season at the moment, but we've got a summer tournament coming up. You should come along. Have a trial. A trial? You tell me where he is, and I'll give you your word. Sometimes a girl has to be naughty in order to get herself out of a jam. I'll give you a lap dance. Fuck you, I'll bitch, man. You. Fuck you, bitch. I'll give you a lap dance. Brian panties off. Number 1. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003. I can't breathe. Yes, I... 
I'm a bit nervous myself. And then they made me their chief. The first in the series and a huge box office success, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, was directed by Gore Verbinski, starring Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom, Kira Knightley, and Jeffrey Rush. This 2003 fantasy swashbuckler received massive acclaim among the public and critics alike. The plot revolves around an ordinary blacksmith, Will Turner, who recruits pirate Captain Jack Sparrow to rescue his love, Elizabeth, from Captain Jack's former pirate allies, who are now undead. Best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments below. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.